Hello everybody, it's Skull Kid, and welcome back to To The Moon. Now it turns out in the last episode, I was quite a moron, because all I had to do was walk here, because obviously the house would be a memento. But I thought this little area here was actually a wall that I couldn't get through. So I literally just finished off sorting out the pickle jar, and let's move on to the next area then. Hopefully, we're getting close to a bit where we can make an actual leap back, instead of all these small little increments, but we're still getting somewhere, and we're starting to find out more about the characters. So at the moment, it looks like we're in some sort of pub, I think. Looks that way. Cafe. So you guys are really going for it, huh? Yep. The construction is starting in just a few months. It's a bit of a squeeze. We had to split the payment. But with financing, we'll make do. How wonderful. Having your dream house built at such a beautiful site. You had your wedding at that lighthouse near there all those years ago, didn't you? That's not at all, that's not all that's special about it. We have a long history with that place. Well, it's good to have some good news at a get-together for once. Cheers and congratulations, you two. Hey, cheers. Okay, so, oh, be right back. I'm going to get some fresh air. Me too. All the girls going out for a talk. Oh, it's... I want to go for them, but I know that that's probably... Oh, is that going to be something? Well, buddy, it should have been a while. Hasn't it? Who knew how hard it is to get across a few cities nowadays? That river. Still so quiet, huh? Yeah, she's actually being talkative at home. And with Isabel. I guess she's just not used to you. Haha, <laughs> so I'm the bad guy here, huh? Oh, hey. So did you tell River that thing from back then? I did. So how did she take it? For the most part, she took it well. But something bugs me. Ever since that incident, she's been making these strange rabbits out of paper. Origami rabbits? Yes, lots of them. Ha! I used to fold origami, origami animals for my daughter all the time. What's wrong with that? I don't think it's the same thing. She's been doing nothing but making the same rabbits day in, day out. Our house is literally filled with them now. Didn't Isabel say say that something like that is a common trait with River's condition? Yes, but something doesn't feel right this time. When I asked her about it, she never answers. Instead, she just gets this distant look in her eyes. It's almost as if she wants something from me. And the strange thing is, I feel like there's something I owe her, too. Have you asked Isabel? Yes. She said she talked to her. She says she talked to her about it, but got nothing. Oh my god, so much talking. Well, I'm certainly not one to inquire, but I'll tell you this. I've known you since middle school, and you're notorious for overthinking. You're probably just imagining things. There's no need to get too worked up. Usually when someone says that, something's always wrong. But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You're probably right. Probably. I'm always right, John. Who's that? Wait, so even he himself never knew what was up with those rabbits? Forget about the stupid rabbits, we've got bigger problems. It's a confined memory and there are no mementos anywhere. Don't worry, we can probably draw one out from him. How? Leave it to me, I just gotta give the bartender a quick visit first. Okay. Hey there, could I get you anything? Hey oh, could I get a bottle of pickle dollars please? Sure, cash your credit. Check. Uh, I'm sorry, we don't take checks. Oh, just put it on my tab then. Wait, does that mean you don't have any money? You're so getting resetted. Hey there, could I get you anything? Hello, could I get a bottle of pickle dollars, please? Sure, cash or credit. Just put it on my tab. I feel like spending big money today. Oh, thank you, sir. Here's your pickle dollars. Thanks, bro. We'll be getting an enormous amount of tips today. Thank you, sir. You're such an arse, Neil. Oh, loosen up. Aha! Oh, God, they have unlimited amount of power with this. I want to know what that is. That looks like a person. I can't do anything with it. Why, is that a bottle of pickle, pickle dollars you're sporting? Yeah, are you a fellow olive lover? Indeed I am. Just got a fresh bottle of them myself, in fact. Mind if I join you? 
Sure, why don't you grab a seat we'll down a bottle together? Ugh. Oh yeah, that sounds just swell. Eva, disable test simulation. Now! Oh, Neil, I don't think I feel like it. I'm so going to get you back for this. So that's how we got our first toaster. Ho, ho, ho. Ah, ah, ah. You okay there? Yes, I'm just savouring the amazingness of pickled olives. They're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah, I just can't understand how anyone could ugh, find such things to be disgusting. Take your time. We've got two bottles left. Oh my god. So I said, hey, that's not right. And they totally agreed. And you know what else is wrong with society today? Oh my god, it's so hot. Yeah, I actually have it right here. Why? May I see it? Uh, okay. Here it is. And freeze. Finally, dear lord. How are the olives, Neil? Oh, shut your mouth. That was an easy one. That's quite nice. Wait, don't you dare. Don't worry, sheesh. See, I'm doing it by the books. What's wrong with it? Hulk smash! <laughs> Neil, seriously. I'm trying to get into this and you're ruining the, mil the mood. Totally worth it. Tripping over my own words. Okay, so this seems to be quite a short one, which isn't too bad. Well, what have we got here? Oh, I pretty much just spam these until it goes right. That one. That one. That one, that one. There we go. No, 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 not the corner. There we go. Well, it wasn't ideal, but oh well. Okay, so let's go into the next place, I guess. Is that like the D to the house or something? I was hoping it would suddenly go back to time and they just realised that this guy's vanished. Okay, so now we're into his sort of early adulthood, I guess. Lighthouse still looks the same. wonder if it ever changes. wonder if it ever was used. Oh, what? Crikey nutcrackers. You aren't Australian. Who cares? We're like two billion nanometers off the ground and standing on a damn flagpole. Just jump down. It's not like you can be hurt here. Are you kidding me? It's a freaking skydive. You can't just stay down here. You can't get off. God, I hate when this happens. I swear, if this plate... Eva, what the... F mm. Worse. Maybe you just land on them. They won't notice. Why would they abandon her like this? I suppose she's just no longer needed. No longer needed? By ships, I mean. You know how it is. You know how everything has GPS and all that. What age is this in? It looks very old-timey, but that might just be the, how it, you know, it naturally looks. Look, River. This pretty... This place means a lot to me too, and I've been thinking. In our current state, things have been pretty stable. If we save well, in a few years, we can afford to build a house on top of here. It's going to be a squeeze, but I'm sure... We'd be able to see her from the window. They have a weird obsession with this lighthouse. In the morning, at night, we'd always be nearby. And... And we could walk here any time. She'll never be alone again, John. I'll be able to watch over her every day. Yeah, we will. She has a really weird obsession with this lighthouse. Good for them. You've got to be kidding me. You remember what happens, don't you? It's like watching a train wreck. Yeah, that is quite sad about it. The ending isn't any more important than any of the moments leading to it. The important thing is that over here, they're happy. Let's move on. I don't know where we're meant to be. 
There's got to be a memento somewhere here. How are they not a memento? No, these rocks are mementos. How can they not remember the rocks? Wait a minute. They were referring to the lighthouse as Anya, weren't they? I suppose so. Then, that river. She declined treatment for the sake of a lighthouse? Isn't that a bit too extreme? I've seen stranger things in the course of the job. Me too, but ugh, I can never wrap my head around it. It's none of our business anyway. She's not our client. So you've known Anya. Actually, that's the thing. I never really looked at those. Abandoned lighthouse. Okay, so pretty much just very brief description of, there we go, of what things are. What have we got to look at? Oh! They're running. So I don't get how the memories work, but I sort of do. I also don't see how they build here, but that's that's for another time. Maybe they just flat on it. Oh, okay. Oh, other side, other side. Oh wait, we can go back. Very. Oh no. Oh, rabbit. Okay, good thing I noticed that. So I was about to head off to where the house will be. Watch out. Prepare. Okay, so these are quite short. I'm just assuming there's quite a few of them. What am I doing? It's just not going. I, that's what I'll do. I'll just spam it until it works. We'll get to a bar. I didn't mean to do that twice. Yes! I don't even know how that worked, because there was a slight delay, so I couldn't really realise what clicks were working. Activate. Let's get out of here. I can just tell they're going to become a pain in the arse. I'm assuming that's John. Well, he looks like he's got a moustache. Yeah. River? I wonder what the incident was then. Okay, so. Slowly get him. A yellow paper rabbit. Dear Lord, not again. I could go with you then. There is a lot of rabbits. They're not even real. They're just paper rabbits. What? Well, we must be in the first house. Because. I don't know where we are actually. New box, plain paper. Uh oh, I think I know where this is going. Oh, this is where she gets her obsession from. Well, starts her obsession. Baby grand piano. How do they move this thing upstairs? Who knows? But I bet it'd be a piece of cake for the TARDIS. Ha ha ha. Not really. You can't even get it through the door. Hmm, true. But that settles it. Moving pianos is a pain in the ass for everybody. It'd probably take an entire episode just to get it inside. I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. Me neither. It sounds pretty epic. They must have very, very dull jobs. Oh my god. So many rabbits. You went out for a haircut this early in the morning? What are you making there? Platypus. Rabbits. Wabbit. Do you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me about that rabbit. Huh? Describe the rabbit. It was yellow. See? I was right. What else? A bit puffy. And? Well, it's just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. You're acting strange, River. Is something wrong? River? Do I not know enough about the Well, it's not me, but yeah. I'm sure this bucket's the thing to send us out. I don't know about you, but I'm getting some inverse deja vu. 
I think I know of her condition, but this is rather odd even for that. You think she's... Do you? Perhaps. Who knows? But like you said, she's not our client. Let's just get what we're paid... Let's just get what we're paid for over with. Okay, I feel kind of stupid because I don't really know what's... Cap? Is it because there's hair in that? I don't know, you said you cut her. I don't know that. Maybe I'm just retarded. Like, extremely stupid not to know. This is the day she started, huh? There we go. This episode's been going on longer than I actually thought it had. This game flies by. Oh, even more areas to try and clear. That is not what I was hoping it would do. I'd hoped there'd be another corner. Oh, this is not going to go well. That one's done. That one's done something. <gasps> yes! Ta-da! That wasn't too bad, I guess. Oh, I sort of want to hold this old one on for a little longer, but I, I'm running up to the limit. So what I'll do is we'll go into the next one, see if there's any instant information, and then we'll cut it there. I'm guessing we'll buy the road where the house, well, their new house is. The big house. Okay, so there's nothing jumps to mind. We've got the platypus there. So I'm going to cut it here. This has been Skull Kid playing to the moon, and... It's kind of, it was started getting depressing because we knew that she was going to die and John had to kind of live through it. And now we can sort of see how she uh, was kind of dealing with it. So it's actually getting really complex and quite sad if you think about their life. But anyway, it's been Skull Kid and I'll quickly save her. And I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye bye. I need to stop this.